Hello and welcome back to Football and Manager 2020 here at Rostov Gaming where we're playing Bath City Football Club and trying to take them to the top of a Premier League. So far we are in our first season here in Venera National League South and we are having six matches to go here before the playoffs if we reach that which I hope and uh, yeah two episodes before that but uh, we'll see here how we get on in this one and i'll see you next at the, the first match of this ep episode that is going to be against hungford which should be an easy victory so first match of the episode then here against hungford and we are super clear favorites according to the bookmakers and everything like that so let's go to the team selection here and we have edwards out on international duty here again so we'll uh, let richards play there as a winger he's not that great with it but uh, he really should get uh, more playing time than he is getting currently so uh, that is what we'll do and we'll put them simpson on the bench there instead reigns is getting some playing time and he's uh, fine or we're fine with that richard is younger and uh, have a better potential ability but he's uh, falling behind due to not playing i guess so that is uh, the reason for, for that and everyone is fresh other than uh, a leg that is of course lacking match sharpness but we are going to work that up here as uh, letting him play straight off so going to match here and uh, we'll hope for another good match here and uh, hand over assistant uh, to do the talks there and we'll just continue or rather comment the match like we always do here on the channel so 10 minutes in and uh, we were here are just getting our first highlight here in uh, in uh, as i said the 10th minute or 11th minute that's it with control of the ball uh, passing between Smith and Schilvers. Schilvers playing it wide here to the left hand side to Pearson and Riley Lowe continuing that run and crosses it towards uh, Brunt or uh, no it was uh, Britain there and it's going to be a penalty here for Bassity in the 11th 12th minute and uh, Brunt is of course going to be the player that takes it and here comes Brunt, Brunt versus the keeper, and it's a goal for Bassetti here in the 12th minute. And um, really a horrible uh, penalty, to be honest. He uh, pretty much shot where the keeper pretty much jumped. Yeah, jumped two seconds before he, he actually hit the ball. So uh, not the most elegant uh, elegant uh, match engine at that exact moment so to say and uh, Richard is falling behind her a little bit in terms of fitness uh, or condition uh, dropping really fast together with uh, a Riley Lowe so uh, Richard and uh, Riley Lowe uh, very likely to get sub here in the second half and uh, we haven't had any more highlights here actually in the first half so the scoreline uh, is one zero after one half we are leading fairly looking at stats but we're definitely not dominating so we should definitely be able to do better looking at the ratings on the players they are definitely not up uh, to their top level either so <clears throat> i ex sort of expect more of them so let's actually uh, do a shelter as we are uh, switching players here or doing some subs and as I said we will do Hartridge instead of Riley Lowe and we will do Reigns instead of Richards and I uh, will uh, shout the man more and they get pressured by that well I am the man more this is uh, pretty boring and it's a goal for Bassett here in the 73rd minute and uh, Brunter with a second goal of uh, this match so that's pretty nice at least uh didn't really see that Brunt actually reached that ball, ball but I guess he did yeah <laughs> straight at it uh but he didn't jump the hungry for play jumped and missed uh, but again Chilvers there with a great free kick that ended up being an assist so very nice stuff there by Chilvers and a 2-2-0 victory it looks like this will be so very confident the ball and uh, very few highlights actually and everything so the final result is 2-0 for Bassett versus Hungerford 
shots 10 to 4, shots on target 5 to 2, and possession 58 to 42%. So very pleased with that. Pleased that it wasn't that many highlights or anything, uh, to be honest. And uh, yeah, uh, I think an all right overall from uh, the lads. Definitely were more in them to do even better, but uh, all right. So still 16 in the league here with five matches to go. 10 points clear now of uh, dropping out of uh, the playoff zone and five and eight points up to the closest team in the playoff zone and uh, 14 points up to the league leaders, which is uh, obviously not going to happen. 922 attending that game, so that's pretty nice. And we'll praise Brown's performance here. And uh, with that, we'll see you here in uh, the next match in seven days against Hemel Hempstead. So our second match is here, and this time I said against Hemel Hempstead, and this time it looks like it will be very even at least. I can read the bookmakers, but we are in very strong form, and uh, they seem to be in pretty bad form actually, so I think that should be alright. Edwards is still on international duty, so I think uh, we are sticking with uh, this format if uh, we don't see anything else. And uh, let's see here. Harper wants a new contract and Baxter is unhappy about something. And uh, well, he's unhappy that we didn't improve the team as we promised as he signed. But I think we have definitely improved the team with a leg. So uh, that's my main issue there. But I couldn't tell to him, we improved the team. Have a look and uh, tell me that the team isn't improved and we can talk after that. But uh, yeah, doesn't really matter. Uh, anyway, let's kick off here and uh, let's get going. So we have a highlight here in the first minute, first, second minute. And uh, through there from Shillers up to Britain, Britain versus the keeper and he shoots. And the keeper managed to save and actually out only for a uh, throw in. But uh, yeah, a good starting sequence there for Bath, which is very nice. And uh, next up again in the 10th, 11 minutes as we had last time around, we do have a highlight here. Um, Hemel Hempstead losing that goal kick, so to say. The ball to Harper to Smith here in the middle passing to Chilvers. Chilvers again a through ball up to Britain, Britain versus Tieper, and this time, oh, that really looked like a goal, but it were just just shy of the post or outside the post. And we have the next highlight here in the 16th minute. Uh, a long ball up to Pearson there from uh, the defense and dribbling forward here on the left hand side and getting through here again. And will he able to cross now? He tries it in and shoots and uh, saved by the keeper and over for a uh, corner. And uh, that said, corner comes here. Richards with it. And uh, Britton, and it's a goal for Bassett here in the 16th minute. And uh, Britton's 27th goal of uh, the season. And uh, as previously said a couple of times, I would love to keep him around, but he's a lone player, uh, which is uh, frustrating to say the least. And uh, yeah, very good uh, stuff there, though, from uh, the lads and the team. I'm very, very happy with that. Next up, I have it here in the 21st minute, uh, free kick. And the ball up to Richards here on the right hand side, crosses it to Pearson. And uh, a failed uh, clearing there. And ball back to Shilvers, uh, to Smith here outside of the penalty area. Or, uh, Fair bit outside it, really, to be honest. But the through ball to Riley Low crosses it toward Richards to Britton, and a shot there that uh, the keeper saved and out for a corner that he actually threw himself at that ball. Looked a bit funny. And here comes the corner, and it's cleared only to best players. So uh, we'll see here if we manage to get another chance. Richard's getting another chance here maybe on the left hand side. And uh, will he be able to cross? No, he manages to pass it to Pearson. But the ball is still in control here uh, on uh, that faint pass. And uh, another chance here for Pearson to cross maybe. 
you know, another failed chance and out for a throw in. And I don't know why we're still seeing that. Thank you for getting that out of uh, my eyes, so to say. And uh, we are closing in on the end of the first half, or rather, we are, have just passed in the 30 minute mark. And we do have a highlight here for Hemo Hempstead, Bulgun, with a course to Auckland and Howell with a shot, and it's a goal for Hemo Hempstead. It, and it's all equalized. And uh, yeah, that really curved its way inside the post. Definitely looked like it were going to be a miss there. Uh, uh, at least I thought it looked like it. Like it. That looks like so far off, but yeah, just sneaked in there inside the post. So uh, very frustrating to having uh, the game all tied here at the moment. And uh, I shouldn't say that because we have another highlight here in the certain last minute and Hamel Hempstead up high here again on the left hand side and crosses it in and it's a goal for Hamel Hempstead here and uh, they take the lead for the first time in this match and uh, for the first time uh, since Clegg started playing we are trailing. Which is uh, not too fun, uh, looked like... Uh, something Leg should have been able to save. Well, yeah, sort of. He, he were there, but he just didn't quite reach it. So quite uh, quite frustrating here. First off, training I said 1-2. to two. The stats are saying that we really should be leading 2-1 to one or something like that. So I can't think that uh, the players have been playing that well. Uh, actually quite all right the ratings overall to be honest uh, we'll just hope that they can do more unfortunately uh, our coach or assistant uh, shouted something very bad here uh, so they got uh, nervous so to say but first I like here in the 55th minute in the second half is for Bassett to Pearson with the ball on the left hand side here and uh, getting past his opponent there two times and driving the ball up in the middle or towards the middle and to Smith and passing out to Harper and back into the middle to Shilvers here and a sort of a screw ball and the ball is up to Brunt and back to Shilvers here again but we are moving uh, forward here slowly but sure and the ball to Richard and Richard suit and it's the post and uh, the ball pretty much rolls into the keeper uh, who's managing to show some safe hands so we'll uh, shout Show some passion here. That's the first show, shout, and uh, we will switch out Richards here again, who's on the tired side. And uh, what more? I don't know what more. We'll put in uh, Watkins instead of Brunt. I know that's sort of weakening the team. And we'll put in Simpson instead of uh, Pearson there. So all around more. Uh, more or less weakening the team but it's at least fresh legs on uh, the pitch and uh, come on get something going here maybe the last highlight of the match here in the 85th minute, minute unfortunately it is Hemel Hempstead with control of the ball at the moment and getting through there and a uh, one-on-one -on -one versus the keeper but our keeper managing to save there and it apparently were a free kick as well for offside I would believe so another highlight here in the 8th and ninth minute and uh, goal kick from Hemel Hempstead but we managed to snap that up. So the ball to uh, Smith here and um, to Shilvers passing it wide here to Simpson on the left hand side who plays it forward to Riley Lowe. Not really coming in anywhere there though and the ball back to Shilvers more in the middle now and to Smith. And he plays it wide towards the right hand side but it's got intercepted and it's a through ball up to Brown a one-on-one -on -one versus our keeper and our keeper managed to save it and out for not a corner out for uh, nothing really and uh, again another highlight here so much is happening here in the last few minutes but uh, we'll see what and a long ball up towards Britain Britain one-on-one -on -one versus the keeper and the keeper saves and unfortunately it's just a corner and here comes the corner and uh, nothing there the first chance 
and Shiller's here to Baxter and uh, a free kick against us uh, for offside. Don't know why we are still watching this though. I hope something interesting is coming up and then I hope it's for Bath City. And uh, let's see here. A lot of pinball action at the moment. Uh, pretty much the worst football there is. And uh, is that a yellow card or a red card or something? Nope, not really. And a free kick here from Hemel Helmstad. And it's another goal for Hemel Helmstad. And that is why we were watching that. And apparently it was an own goal there by Baxter. And uh, yeah. Not the result we would have liked to, go, to come away with in uh, this match, that's for sure. But uh, it's been all right in, in all honesty, I think. The final result for Bassett versus Hemma Hempstead is a 1 2 3. Shots 19 to 14, shots on target 8 to 8, and possession 54 to 46%. So looking at the stats and everything, should have been an even game wasn't so much so much that in uh, terms of uh, the actual final score but yeah the team played all right ish we just didn't get things flowing our way so to say so still a sixth in the league here uh, eight points clear of uh, dropping out of the playoff zone with four matches to go so still a very very uh, sort of secure that we are in the playoffs and uh, we will see you at the next match. But before we are leaving for a short break, so to say, uh, that will be instantly for you. Remember to smash that like button if you're enjoying the show. Also, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button if you want to follow along on our journey here with Bass City Tours, Premier League and beyond. And if you want to support the channel even more, do check out the membership tabs and things like that and you can actually support the channel and get the chance to name one youth player per, per youth intake per game year and uh, yeah it's one perk but anyway i'll see you in seven days uh, for the match against slow so then the last match of this episode this time against slow and this should be a very even match in this as well so hopefully we can play a little bit better than we have been doing here lately and we got edwards back in the squad so that's pretty nice uh, that is definitely a lot better than uh, any other option and uh, let's see here we will go to match and play and submit the team just as we always do and uh, go to the dressing room here hand over to assistant and hand over to assistant and we'll kick off and play here and i did have a look at a new assistant coach just to try and get the brunt and batten or baxter happy that we are improving the coaching team um, our assistant coach obviously isn't that great great Rollo that is and also he's not really playing a position that uh, or a, a formation that we like and he's also uh, having a lot of defensive thoughts that we don't necessarily agree with so with a great chance there hitting in the post and a Briton here with a chance and uh, somehow uh, that were saved so out for a corner really looked like uh, no touch there but I guess it was and the ball out to Baxter and unfortunately that clearing didn't lead to anywhere other than to slow players so here uh, they are coming in a counter attack and we'll see here what happens and uh, the ball towards the penalty area but we managed to clear it and uh, the highlight is away finally so that's a good and uh, Pearson getting really hard uh, taken there or something and a second uh, yellow card or a red card directly there for Jackman and here's uh, the free kick and uh, saved and out for a corner uh, but yeah we should uh, win uh, this match now and uh, that will be nice if we manage to do that. 
the corner unfortunately didn't lead it to anything but hopefully we can have uh, something that leads to something pretty soon and uh, another highlight here uh, this time Baxter with a cross or a through ball to Britton but uh, saved again by the keeper and out for another corner and uh, here comes the corner from Chilvers and unfortunately only out to slow players So we'll see here, Edwards, uh, oh, I didn't look on his uh, freshness, he's uh, actually very tired. So I guess uh, we'll uh, let Richards in here in uh, the second half uh, to take his place. And uh, we do have a highlight here before the end of the first half. Well, we still got a fair bit to go before that. Edwards uh, with the ball here, passing it in to the middle to Smith, to Shilvers, back to Smith and to Shilvers. And uh, what will he do? Well, he chooses to pass to Smith and Smith passes to Shilvers. Oh, news brought to Pearson and Jesus, that were a hard shot, uh, but uh, not hitting the target there. So five minutes to go here of uh, the first half and uh, still no goal, uh, zero to zero, but we're totally dominating in uh, stats and everything and in chances. So feels all right. Uh, I'm not worried here for the second half. Uh, so one player there having poor rating and that is Edward. So Edward, you are going to be switched off and having Richard there instead. Schillers with a free kick and Baxter over the top bar. It's not top bar, over the crossbar. All right, so a bad shout from our assistant. And uh, let's see if we can't shout the man more or something, but uh, let's maybe do, or, Let's maybe wait a little bit and then do um, uh, the substitutions before doing in that. And I think, yeah, still getting a second yellow card there. And I will go to very attacking. I will make a sub or two. So we've got 20 minutes to go and we're still a goalless here. Now playing with two men more than they are. So really should be able to do something at least. Uh, we'll put in Hartridge instead of Riley Low, and I think that's actually everything we'll do. And we'll shout the man more, and then show some passion. And I think we haven't really managed to do a shot or a chance or anything in the second half. And uh, yeah, still waiting for something to happen here, and we're now pretty much into extra time. Will they be able? Yeah, they are going to help hold it together so the final result for pass it versus low is zero to zero shots 15 to 7 shots on target 6 to 3 and possession 56 to 44 percent so over, overall i feel like the team played all right but we definitely didn't get uh, value for our money so to say but uh, yeah a good match but not the result we wanted uh, still in sixth place after that match and still eight points clear of dropping out of the playoff stone and uh, 15 points up to the league leaders but that doesn't really matter at all and uh, yeah that will be everything for this episode so i hope you have enjoyed and with that said thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye bye you have been watching rose Glow gaming and i hope you have enjoyed on clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right or latest upload to the channel and with that said thank you again for watching